Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Hazen Union in Hardwick, Vermont. We're here for the third annual Battle of the Badges, a charity basketball event uh, that is going to benefit the Hope Lodge American Cancer Society and the Samantha Brochu Scholarship Fund. I am Griffin Lucier, and you might remember me from being Lance Hall's sometimes sidekick, but I'm uh, on my own today. We're going to get through this together. <laughs> today we are going to watch a game between a squad of uh, the Norwich Cadets against the Hardwick, Wol Hardwick and Wolka Fire Department. We've got uh, Norwich in maroon and, and uh, Hardwick and Wolka Fire in the red sleeveless shirts. I like it, like a cross between a basketball jersey and a t-shirt, very nice. Opening tip is going to be between Dana Camp for Hardwick Wolka Fire and Nithalon Zeibel from Norwich University and I'm just going to say straight away, if I get any names wrong, I'm really sorry. Hardwick Wolka commands the opening tip here. Stolen away, um, and a layup, no, the layup misses. Joe Cretorial gets the rebound. Here's Jonathan Laughlin. Over to Staten Smith, puts up a shot. Brittany Demers with the rebound. Here's Charlie Bartlett bringing the ball up. Three point attempt. Just barely off. Rebound by uh, Jose Cretorial. Ball goes out of bounds. Off of Norwich. Hardwick will cut ball. Satan Smith trying to implement a little one man full court press here. It doesn't really work, but Dana Camp throws the ball away anyway. Gets it right back underneath the basket. Here's Brittany Demers. Slowly brings the ball up beyond half court. Dana Camp for three. Little bit strong there. Here's Staten Smith with a rebound. Zeibel underneath can't quite control it and the ball goes out of bounds. Off of Norwich. Here's Dana Camp, playing point guard. What do we got? We've got a, a new basketball. Game stoppage for a basketball substitution. An uncommon <laughs> play stoppage event. Caleb Weatherall with a shot attempt that gets blocked. Maybe a little bit of contact there, but uh, that's all right. Dana Camp with the inbound right underneath the basket, but the ball goes off his foot. Does not go off his foot, goes off of a Norwich player. So it's still Hardwick Wolka ball. Charlie Bartlett. Tries to get a little bit of space underneath, but his shot is blocked. But we're going to stay on this end. Solid defense by Norwich, and they cause a turnover. The lead pass up ahead does not quite happen there uh, for Jonathan Laughlin. Hardwick will cut. Gets the ball back, brings it up. Here's Jacob Jones beyond the three point line. Into Weatherall. 
Dana Camp out beyond the three-point line. Gets inside. Shot is blocked. Charlie Bartlett from mid-range. Cannot connect. Here comes Matthew Laho up to Jonathan Laughlin. And the layup can't go in. How about a three-pointer? Not quite. Rebound goes off of Charlie Bartlett. So it's going to stay on this end for Norwich. Three-pointer, no good. Jacob Jones with a rebound. Way up underneath. Blocked shot again. Norwich has been able to block a lot of these shots. Playing some good defense. In transition, Charlie Bartlett commits a foul. Staten Smith passes it in to Jonathan Laughlin. Three-point attempt by Zeibel. Off the rim, but rebound, put back by Matthew Lahoe. Opens up the scoring for this game. Uh, Norwich is up 2-0 to zero with 440 left in the first quarter. Not exactly a high-scoring affair yet, but these, these guys are just getting warmed up. It's all right. Here's Dana Camp underneath, passes it out to Weatherall. He's going to try and drive in. Some kind of weird screen situation going on there, but he still gets stopped. Gets it into Dana Camp underneath. All right, Dana Camp using his size to get a bucket. Scores tied, 2-2. Two to two. Here's Jose Cortoral. Brings the ball up. Can't find an open shot, but number number four, Jonathan Laughlin, takes a three-pointer, does not connect. Loose ball foul on Laughlin. It's going to be hard with Wilkett ball. Substitution here. We've got uh, Staten Smith heading out and Jeet Patel coming in for Norwich along with Chauncey Garland coming in as well. Nice dribble move by Weatherall to get inside and try and try and hit a layup, but he's fouled in the process. So he will be shooting some baskets, shooting some free throws here. Got a tie up underneath for the rebound. Looks like it's going to be Norwich's ball due to the possession arrow. Here's Corturial, bring the ball up. Here's Chauncey Garland. Ah, oh, three pointer by Corturial. Five to two. Norwich right now. 3.22 left in the first quarter. Jacob Jones bringing the ball up. Gets it into Small outside the three-point line. He's going to dribble to his left. Off the foot of the Hardwick Wilco player. Norwich in transition. Here's Matt LaHoe. Cannot make the layup. And we've got a little bit of a foul situation. The pump fake faked out Weatherall, and he went up and committed the foul. Norwich tries to get the inbound underneath. It'll still be Norwich ball. Corte Real cannot connect on the, another three-pointer. Rebound Hardwick Wolcott. That's a pretty nifty pass move by, by Bartlett. A little bit of a volleyball action. Looks like Jacob Jones was fouled on the floor before the shot after a, after a nice dribble drive. Ball into Data Camp. Oh, really nice give and go. Couldn't quite connect the pass. Dana Camp from outside is, is off. Here's Corte Real bringing the ball up. And 
Looks like he stepped out of bounds. All right, Dana Camp bringing the ball up from beyond the three-point line. Real nice and slow. Getting the, getting the offense into gear here. Wasn't quite what he, what he intended to do. Norwich gets the ball back. Chauncey, Chauncey Garland hangs on to it. Here's Matthew LaHoe. He's going to bring the ball up. Port 3L looking for a pass. Here's Garland. He's open. Cannot connect. Matthew LaHoe gets the rebound. Puts up a shot. No good. And fight for the rebound goes out of bounds. Look like it's going to be Hardwick Wilka ball. Here's Dana Camp, our center slash forward for Hardwick Wilka Fire. I don't know if that's what they intended to do, but it really worked. The kind of a kind of a parry back to back to camp after he passed the ball. Here's Matthew LeHoe. Uh, the Norwich shot goes out of bounds. Looks like it's going to be Hardwick Wilka ball again. Almost stolen away, but here's Small. Passes it to Jones. Jones with a deep three. No. Does not connect. Three-pointer that would make Isaiah Baker blush, but... Dana Camp gets the ball underneath. Matthew tried to attempt to steal, but the ball goes out of bounds, and now it's Hardwick will get ball again. Jones will bring the ball up. Here's Bartlett. Gets the ball to Weatherall. Cannot control it. Slams into the mats. Norwich ball. We've got 48 seconds left in the first quarter. It's 5-4, to four, Hazen. Or, uh, scoreboard says Hazen. 5-4 <laughs> to four for Norwich. G. Patel for three. Oh, it hits it. All right. 8-4 to four for Norwich with 30 seconds to go in the first quarter. G. Patel with a nice touch on that three-pointer. Here's Small from outside the three-point line. Weatherall gets the ball, makes the turn, and gets fouled in the process. He will be taking at least one foul shot. I think the rules are a little different for this, for this uh, event where we're shooting a one-and-one one on, a, on a foul on a shot. Normal basketball, that would be uh, two foul shots. Weatherall hits the first one, so it doesn't matter. Weatherall hits the second, all right. Eight to six. Now with 18 seconds left, the score is down to, uh, the, the lead is down to two. Here comes Corte Real. Bringing the ball up slowly, doing some between the legs stuff, but uh, he's not got a lot of time left on the clock. Uh, looks like we're gonna call a foul on on Hardwick Wolka, but with two seconds left, you know that's actually kind of a smart foul. It's tough to get a shot off now, but here's Laho. Can he get it off? He gets it off, and he connects off the backboard. All right. So Norwich goes into the end of the first quarter with a four-point lead. It's 10 to 6. Some pretty good basketball that we've seen. Um, Norwich, again, like I mentioned earlier, Norwich has seven players, and we've seen all seven. But uh, Hardwick Wilka Fire still has, I think, looks like five players who have yet to see the court. So we're going to see if maybe they can kind of use that to their advantage and... and uh, Take, it, take advantage of Norwich's fatigue as the game goes on. Although, you know, if I was playing against a bunch of college kids, I would need pretty much every advantage I could get in the fatigue department. I 
Again, this is the third annual Battle of the Badges tournament. Now, this is the first of two games that we're going to cover for HCTV. But there's actually eight games going on. Um, the winner of each of each game is going to move on, and the loser of each game also moves on for a, for kind of consolation prize um, games later on. There are eight teams competing in this event. Norwich University, Hardwick Wolcott Fire, Hardwick Police, um, Washington County, Morristown Burlington, Vermont State Police, Orleans County, Brattleboro, all kinds of uh, different people from around the state are going to be here participating in this event. The proceeds for this event will benefit the Hope Lodge, American Cancer, so American Cancer Society, and uh, the Samantha Brochure Scholarship Fund. And a special thanks to some people that helped out, the volunteer referees, who you might recognize from Hazen basketball games that we've covered, uh, Hazen Union for hosting us, um, the Village Diner in Hardwick, Positive Pie, Connie's Kitchen, Hope Lodge American Cancer Society, and Dave and Wendy Brochure. All right. So here's Farron Wombald with the, with the penny. Yeah, we've got a bunch of new players now. Farron Wombald takes a little deep three. Zeibel with the rebound. Here is Chauncey Garland, brings the ball up, passes to Patel, who takes another long two. I think his foot was on the line. Doesn't matter. Rebound, Hardwick Wolcott. Here is Paxton LaFoe out to Farron Wombald. Paxton gets the ball inside, back out to Wombald. Puts up a long two, cannot connect. Matthew LaHoe's got the ball, bringing it up. Pressured by Nate Job. Norwich cannot make the long two. Ball goes out of bounds off of Zybel. It's going to be hard with Wilcott Ball. It's very wobbled with the inbound to Paxton LaFoe. So yeah, we've got five brand new players. I think none of these five players were playing in the first quarter. So we've got some fresh legs for Hardwick Wolcott. Brittany Demers to Paxson Lafoe. Here's Farron Wombald. Demers gets the ball outside the three-point line. Paxson Lafoe faces up. Screened by Demers. We get the ball inside to number six, Chase LaFoe, who cannot connect on the layup. Here's the transition. Zeibel with the lay-in. Can't make it, but Patel right there with the rebound. Put back. Good transition basketball. Six minutes left in the second quarter. We just got it underway in the second quarter, and uh, Norwich with a six-point lead now. Brittany Demers for three. Can't make it, but we get the rebound. And one for Chase LaFoe. LaFoe is going to attempt a foul shot here. Let's put the icing on the cake for the and one. Cannot connect, and Zybel gets the rebound. Here's Matthew LaFoe. Passes out beyond the three-point line. And Laughlin cannot connect on that layup. Here's Paxton LaFoe. Paxton LaFoe to Chase LaFoe. All right, and a three-point attempt is no good. Long transition pass. Oh, very nice pass to Zybel, but he can't connect on the layup. Really, really nice pass on that, on that transition. Uh, from Matthew LaFoe, behind the back, to a cutting Nithalon Zeibel. A little bit too much power on that layup, though. Here's Laughlin about to inbounds the ball. He finds outside G. Patel for three, no good. Laughlin will take a long two. Cannot connect on that one either. Looks like it's going to be Norwich ball. Norwich doing a really good job of getting their offensive rebounds here. Nope, I'm mistaken. It is Hardwick Wolcott ball. Paxton LaFoe into Farron Wombald. Brings the ball up. Go, go, go. 
Chauncey Garland with the steal. Here's LaFoe bringing the ball up. Screen set by Patel. Here is Laughlin, but it looks like he got the double dribble. And that's not going to work. So here is Brittany Demers bringing the ball up. Four minutes and 52 seconds left in the second quarter. Norwich with a four point lead. Lob pass. Doesn't quite work out. Looks like we've got a foul committed though by Norwich. So here's Wambald passing the ball in. Gets the ball into Job. Back out to Wambald beyond the three point line. A little bit of bunching. Three pointer by Job does not go in. Norwich has numbers. Chauncey Garland can't make the layup. A little bit of a bobble on that on that dribble. Here's Chase LaFoe. Transition layup right back, and this time it goes in. Just a two point lead right now for Norwich. Here comes Chauncey Garland. G. Patel in the corner, back to Garland. He's gonna take a three off the glass, no good. Chauncey Garland, it's another steal. Chauncey Garland out here looking a little bit like Chauncey Billups. But on the steal, he kind of falls over, commits a travel, and he is being subbed out. Here's Wambald. Passes the ball in, but it's intercepted by Matthew LaFoe. Staten Smith beyond the three point line. Cannot connect. Chase LaFoe gets the rebound, but throws it away. Inside to G. Patel. Easy bucket. 14 to 10, Norwich. Three minutes and 26 seconds left in the second quarter. Here's Joe trying to put a dribble move on Laughlin. And looks like Laughlin commits a foul. Here's Wombald bringing the ball in. Can't find anybody. Okay, here's Joe underneath with a shot up. Doesn't go in. Here's LaFoe with the rebound. Ooh, nifty dribble move by uh, Corte Real. And here's LaFoe for three, no good. Paxton with the rebound. Brings the ball up securely to chase LaFoe. Here's Job for three, no good. Looks like an air ball, so it's gonna be going to Norwich. 2.49 left in the second quarter. Norwich with a four point lead. Foot on the line, but it went in for um, Jose Corto Real. Six point lead now for Norwich. Joe, two one balls. One ball's gonna use the screen, go to the left, shot is no good, defended tightly, but she gets the ball again underneath. Off the glass, no good. Chase LaFoe gets it underneath, makes a nice move between the defenders and hits the layup. All right. Norwich is taking no time to get the ball back up. Quarter Real again for, oh, this time it was a three for sure, so. Norwich has opened up a seven point lead here now. <laughs> Some aggressive defense by Laho. Here's Farron Wambald. In the triple threat stance. Gets the ball back after a mishandled pass. Surrounded by cadets. And the call is gonna be five seconds, I believe. Yeah, okay. Got a couple of substitutions here. Uh, Brittany Demers will sit down. That is 
Number nine, Jacob Jones coming in for Hardwick Wilcott. He's guarding Corte Real right now. Corte Real with a long pass. Jonathan Laughlin can't connect. And Corte Real's layup does not go in, but he gets fouled. Two shots this time. Corte Real hits the first one. 20 to 12 right now. Uh, 119 left in the second quarter. If you look at the scoreboard, you might be confused because it says period one, but we are in the second quarter. I didn't, I didn't just dream that first quarter, I'm pretty sure. Corte Real hits the second, 21 to 12. Job takes the ball out for Paxton and now to Jones. Here's Wombald. Puts up a shot, but it gets blocked by the towering Jeep Patel. Ah, oh, ball's almost intercepted, but Matthew Lafoe, uh, sorry, Lafoe gets the ball. Here's Corte Real for three, no good. In transition. Yeah, yeah sorry. All right, just have to speak with the tournament organizer there for a second. Uh, looks like we've got Hardwick Wilcott Ball, and we got Ken Chrisman in the game right now. The, the gentleman who, instead of a number on his shirt, says support our troops, and here he gets the ball from the pass from Paxton. Paxton for three, off the rim, very close. Corte Real, up to Patel. Patel with a mid-range jumper, no good. Chrisman tries to get the rebound, goes off of Norwich. Hardwick will cut ball. Staten Smith with the one-man full court press. Um, I don't, I don't know. I'm not a basketball coach. I don't think that's that's really what Coach Aaron Hill would would want the the the, the four-player zone and the one-player full court press, but. Here comes Kristen, Christman. He'll pass the ball in. No, never mind. We've, we've got our, our call overturned. So it'll be Norwich ball. Corte Real gets the ball but travels. Okay, well, it'll be Hardwick Wilcott ball after all. Christman comes back to where he was before, passing the ball in. Underneath to Laho. Doesn't like his shot, moves outside. Here's Jones, stops and pops for three, off the glass and in. Hey, they made the glass for a reason, so you know, you might as well use it. Corte Real brings the ball up. We've got a kind of four player screen thing happening. Get the shot off right before the end of the quarter. It does not go in. We're going to halftime, 21 to 15 Norwich. Hardwick Wolka keeping it close. Closer than I think most of us would be able to do against Norwich Cadets. All right, we're here for the second half between Norwich Cadets and Hardwick Wolka Fire Department here at the third annual Battle of the Badges Tournament. Again, this is a uh, charity event. Proceeds are going to benefit the Hope Lodge American Cancer Society and the Samantha Burshu Scholarship Fund. Uh, we want, and uh, the folks here would like to say a special thank you to the volunteer referees, Hayes and Union for hosting us, the Village Diner, Positive Pie, Connie's Kitchen, Hope Lodge American Cancer Society, and to Dave and Wendy Burshu. Score right now is 21 to 15 as we start the second half here in Norwich with a six point lead. Players are determining which side of the court they're going to be shooting at, and the way this normally works is that they will swap sides after halftime. Mm, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, I see what's happening here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, 
I think, this is my prediction, that Norwich is actually shooting at the opposite basket and they are trying to trick Hardwick Wolka into defending the wrong basket. But it looks like that plan has been stymied for a couple of reasons. One is Hardwick Wolka is going to be doing the inbound and, <laughs> and two, they, they caught on to their ploy here. The inbound is stolen away by Porto Real, and he can't make the layup. Hardwick Wolka quickly out with a rebound. Underneath the basket to Small, but he can't he can't connect on the get, get that pass. Here's Lahoe from way outside the three-point line. Inside to Zeibel with a with a something trying to get that ball up, but can't can't make it. Hardwick Wolka gets the ball back. Bartlett with the ball outside the three-point line now. Passes it straight to Zeibel, which I don't think was his intention. Corte Real with the transition layup. That one looks pretty easy. 23 to 15 for Norwich now. Here's Weatherall. Long pass to Dana underneath. Can't connect on the easy layup, but oh, it looks like he was fouled. So he will be taking some shots. Again, in this tournament, it looks like a one and one on a on a layup shot that got fouled there. So here's Camp on the first of the one and one, and he hits. Seven point lead now for Norwich. Seven minutes left in the third quarter. That one does not go in. Rebounded by Norwich, but the outlet pass goes out of bounds. So Hardwick Wolka will get the ball. Here's Jones with the inbound. Jones with a shooter's band on his shoulder. Very professional. Quarterback pass into, jo into camp. Well, looks like uh, Hardwick Wolka got the rebound and made the bucket underneath. Five point lead now. Here's Corte Real. That's Laughlin for a long two. Tough to make ground up uh, against this Norwich lead. Here's Jones bringing the ball up. Quarto, no, not Quarto Real, but that's Quarto Real. With the behind the back pass to Staten Smith, who cannot make the layup. Here's Zeibel from the elbow. Mm, yes. Small brings the ball up, across half court. Jones in the corner, guarded by Corte Real. Uses the screen, gets the ball inside, runs into Zeibel, puts up a wild shot, doesn't go in. Matthew LaFoe commits the foul underneath on the putback. So Weatherall will take some foul shots. First shot does not go in. Norwich gets the rebound. Here's Corte Real bringing the ball up. Cannot make that pass connect. Hardwick woke at ball. Here's Jones. Jacob Jones patiently brings the ball up. Quarterback pass to Weatherall. Back to Jones. He likes that that pass. <laughs> Looks like a baseball pitcher. But he finds Weatherall who cuts inside and makes a layup. Seven point lead for Norwich right now, 27 to 20. We got five minutes and 27 seconds left in the third quarter. The big fake by Laho, but he can't make the shot underneath. Weatherall trying to make something happen in transition, but he's guarded by Laho and dribbles the ball out of bounds. Here's Smith into Corte Real. Patiently brings the ball up. Stolen by Bartlett, who falls on the ground and gets the ball. Jones saves the ball from going out of bounds. Here's Camp way outside. Uh, 
The baseball pass is, is, a, is a fickle mistress here for Hardwick Wolka. Sometimes it's been working out, but sometimes they've been throwing it straight to the sidelines. Corte Real brings the ball up. That's run their offense. He takes an open three-pointer. Rebound by Weatherall. He is going to be fouled in transition. Ooh, a nice pass there by, uh, by Bartlett to Jones. Gets inside, tries the layup, doesn't go in. Here's Corte Real bringing the ball up. Defense hasn't really set yet, so maybe he can get something going here. Zeibel from the elbow, does not go in. Laho cannot contain the rebound. So it's gonna be hard with Wolka Ball. 4.26 left in the third quarter. Seven point lead for Norwich. Jones will bring the ball up. Camp pops out to receive the pass, a give and go. But it's broken up by Court Real, and he is going to be fouled in transition here by Camp. Finds, Court Real finds an open Laho underneath. He's going to pass it out. Laughlin can't make that shot. Laho from just inside the three-point line. Can't make it. <laughs> Bartlett, with the, Bartlett with the stiff arm. I, I'm not certain that that's legal. But I'm also not certain that whatever Laho is doing over there is legal. So I guess it's a foul on somebody. <laughs> Hardwick will cut ball. And we've got a stoppage of play because Norwich has six, seven players on the court, which, I, which, is, which is not what you're supposed to do. All seven. Making some substitutions here. Uh, we've got Chauncey Garland back in the game and Staten Smith in the game. Long pass. Oh, <laughs> we've got a... Looks like a technical foul on Staten Smith, or no, I guess it's not. I guess it's a warning on Staten Smith for you're not supposed to go over the end line when you're guarding an inbound pass. So if you, your body, your hand, your foot, your head, whatever, goes over the sideline, then they call you a warning. And then if you do it again, it's a, it's a technical foul. Norwich gets the ball back here on an errant pass. Corte Real, a couple of uh, between the legs dribble moves. He's gonna get the ball back on a, on a mishandled pass there. But his pass is broken up by Weatherall. He's gonna get underneath and not make the layup. Staten Smith with a rebound. Chauncey Garland's gonna bring it up. They've got numbers. Corte Real with a three, no good. Zeibel with a big rebound underneath. Patel gets another rebound, puts it up. Nine point lead for Norwich. We've got three minutes and 10 seconds left in the third. Dana Camp very calmly walks the ball up beyond half court. Jones tries to get the ball inside, can't hit. Rebound doesn't go in. It's gonna be Norwich ball after some Struggle for the rebound there. Staten Smith takes a seat. Looks like we've got uh, Patel, Jeep Patel back in. Corte Real for a three again, and this time he hits. 32 to 20. Those three pointers are really opening up there, up, up Norwich's lead. Camp is gonna take a second here and let Garland tie his shoe. But 2.29 left in the third quarter. 12 point game. Again, this is the third annual Battle of the Badges tournament between fire and rescue and police. 
um, people from all across the state. We've got folks from Mooresville, we've got pro folks from Vermont State Police, Orleans County, Brattleboro, Washington County, and also the teams that we're playing right now, Hardwick Wilkett Fire Department, and some, some kids from the Norwich Cadets. Dana Camp committed a foul, pleads his case to the real referees that are sitting in the stands over here, but Corte Real will take some foul shots. He's gonna hit on the first. 33 to 20 right now. 216 left in the third quarter. Hardwick Wilka gets the ball on the rebound. Weatherall loses the ball, but not sure what the call is. Looks like it was out of bounds off of Weatherall, so it's going to be Norwich ball. Here's Corte Real. Passes the ball inside to LaHoe, but LaHoe can't get the ball because it's stolen by Camp. Tries to play that. High pressure defense, full court. Camp gets the ball outside to Weatherall. Weatherall is going to try what looks like a three point shot attempt. Doesn't go in. Corte Real brings the ball in. Patel gets his layup attempt blocked and looks like it goes off of Weatherall. And now it's Norwich ball. No. No, it went off of Norwich. <laughs> so now it's Hardwick ball. Hardwick woke up fireball. Speaking of fireball, it's a quite the inbound pass. Bartlett gets the ball from me on the three-point line. Turns to his left, takes a, a shot. Does not go in. Laho with the rebound. Brings the ball up in transition. Passes the ball, but it's right off of Zeibel's toe. Here's Weatherall with a head of steam on transition. Charlie Bartlett with what can only be called a, a left-handed, I guess, underhand hook shot. Garland gets a rebound, fights for it. Looks like a jump ball, and Norwich will retain possession. Here's Corte Real bringing the ball up. Um, looks like a foul on the floor committed by Hardwick Wolcott. Corte Real gets the ball, does some dribble moves, gets open, can't hit from mid-range. Can't put the rebound, out to Jones. Jones looks like he wants to try and drive in, can't hit the layup. Corte Real with a long pass to LaHoe, and he's gonna get it inside to Zeibel, who misses the layup. Gets a, his own rebound. Jones with a rebound. Part of a hook of ball. Small, way down into Weatherall, can't hit the layup. Corte Real, way deep. Here's Laho. can he hit? No, G. Patel gets the, gets the put back. We've got some hockey checking over into the, into the wall by Dana Camp. 15 point lead for Norwich, 35 to 20. Long, kind of buzzer beater. He's not going, we've only got a couple of seconds left. Jones for three. No good. All right, so that's going to bring the third quarter to a close here. Norwich has opened up a 15-point lead. But we're going to see if maybe uh, the other half of the Hardwick Wilka team will come in for the, for the fourth quarter here. Looks like they had a little bit of a fatigue problem, if I'm just speculating here. So maybe the uh, substitute players will, will come in and offer some assistance, try and cut into this 15-point lead that Norwich has, has uh, gotten out to here. So this is the third annual Battle of the Badges tournament. Right now we're watching a squad of, of uh, players from the Norwich Cadets, and they're playing against the Hardwick Wolcott Fire Department team. Special thanks goes out for this event to the volunteer referees who are refereeing the game, to Hayes and Union for hosting us, uh, Village Diner, Positive Pie, Connie's Kitchen, 
Hope Lodge American Cancer Society, David Wendy Brochu, and the proceeds of this event are going to benefit the Hope Lodge American Cancer Society and the Samantha Brochu Scholarship Fund. For more information regarding the Hope Lodge American Cancer Society, please visit www.cancer.org slash Hope Lodge Burlington. So this is just game one of a, of a really long day. We're going to be covering the first two games today. Uh, we've got Norwich Cadets versus Hardwick Polk at Fire right now, but after this is going to be the Hardwick Police versus Washington County. The slate for the day, if you uh, want to try and make it to the fourth annual Battle of the Badgers tournament, you really should because it's, a, it's an eight-game day. They've got basketball going from 9 in the morning until... Geez, looks like six o'clock at night here. Um, it's going to be an entire tournament where pl teams are playing multiple games in the same day. We see that uh, Hardwick Wilka has made the big substitution. So here's Demers, and that's going to be that's Chase LeFoe right there. Brittany Demers out to Paxton LeFoe. Looks like Chauncey Garland commits the foul on Paxton. Trying to get a steal there. Again, he plays just like Chauncey Billups. Maybe, maybe he was he was named after Chauncey Billups. If I was gonna have <laughs> a name 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 a child after a basketball player, it might be Chauncey Billups. I liked him. Here's the foe. Out to Ho uh, out to Job. Paxton to Farron Wombold. Pass is cut off by Laho but she gets it to Paxton. Pass is broken up by Norwich. Hardwick Wolcott retains possession. Here's Farron on the elbow here, or the corner. Another pass broken up, but looks like a foul here committed by Jonathan Laughlin. So Hardwick Wolcott will get the ball out of bounds again. We're going a 15-point lead here. 7-11 left in the fourth quarter. We're just getting underway here. We're going to see if uh, the substitutes here, the 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 B squad for Hardwick Wolka can, can try and eat into this lead. Laughlin takes the ball up court. It's going to take a deep three. Does not make it. Rebound controlled by Garland. Gets the ball inside to Laho. Double teamed. Gets the ball back out to Garland. He's going to take a shot. Rebound by Hardwick Wolcott. Chase LeFoe brings the ball up. Farron Wombald on the corner here. Here's Paxton to Chase. Back out to Paxton on the baseline. No space there. Looks like a foul on the floor by Norwich. Paxton LeFoe takes the ball out. Brittany Demers uh, tries to make a behind the back pass to Paxton, but it's broken up. Some kind of scrum for the ball over there. Eventually Norwich gets the ball back. Here's Garland for three. No good. Uh, fight for the rebound goes to Staten Smith. It's going to get the ball up to Laughlin. Gets it inside to Patel. And one. Nice move underneath by Patel using his size, using a little bit of positioning. Norwich takes a 17 to 20 lead. Got a attempt for a three point play here. 5.50 left in the fourth quarter. Rebound controlled by Garland. He puts up a shot, does not go in. Paxton, Paxton LaFoe with the rebound. Guarded by Garland. Here's Job. Gets the ball to Farron Wambald. Tough, tough Norwich defense. Shot attempt by Brittany Demers is no good. Norwich controls the ball, but it looks like LaFoe has traveled. Chauncey Garland again with a with a shoe situation over here. 
You know, I think they should probably standard issue these Norwich kids some Velcro shoes. Paxton gets the ball into Brittany Demers, who brings the ball up, passes it back to Paxton. Paxton drives, but it runs into Laho, who gets the ball up to Staten Smith and hits the layup. Here's one ball, guarded closely by Garland. Paxton to Brittany. Brittany gets the ball to Job. Long, long shot by Farron Wombald. Does not have the distance, goes out of bounds. It's gonna be Norwich ball. Patel inbounds to Garland. Patel can take his time. We got four minutes and 30 seconds left. Norwich have opened up a 19 point lead. After a pretty close first, first quarter, the second quarter looked pretty close too. Norwich really pulled away in the third year. Staten Smith was completely unguarded, decided to take the shot, went in. Three-pointer for Staten Smith. It's 42 to 20 with three minutes and 50 seconds left in the fourth. Demers gets her shot blocked. Staten Smith with the rebound. Passes up to Laho, but he cannot get on the other end of that pass. Luckily, it was out of bounds off of Hardwick Wilcott, so Norwich is going to retain possession. Zybel checks in for G. Patel. And Corto Real has got it too. Or is in the game too, and he cannot control that pass. Goes over the over the midcourt line for a backcourt. So Hardwick Wilcott gets the ball. Here's Brittany Demers. She's gonna drive to the baseline. Run into some Norwich players. Paxton with a fake. With a little bit of a hip check there. Brittany Demers gets her pocket picked by Laho, but it goes out of bounds off of Brittany's foot, so looks like it's going to be Norwich ball. Cortorial mishandles the inbound pass, but collects it. Here he comes up. Again, they're just going to keep shooting threes because if you're not guarding them, you might as well. 25 point lead is opened up here for Norwich as, as we have securely entered garbage time. Cortorial trying to dribble past two Wilkett Hardwick players and doesn't really have any trouble doing so. Here's another three pointer by Smith. Does not go in. Here's Paxson bringing the ball up. Looks like we're gonna have a foul on the floor by Laughlin for Norwich. Quick inbounds, three point shot, no good for Hardwick Wilcott. Zeibel's wide open, so is Laho. Zeibel with a layup, hits for the easy bucket. So here's Paxson for three. No good. Looks like it was deflected. Went out of bounds, and so now it's going to retain. Um, it's going to still be hard work. Woke up ball. Joe loses the ball out of bounds, and this time it was a hard work. Woke up, and so it's going to be Norwich ball. Not for long. Lafoe with the steal. Paxton for a long two. Chase Lafoe with the rebound. Tries to get it back out to Paxton. Pass is broken up uh, by Staten Smith. Paxton to Demers. Job 
somehow handles that ball. Demers is open for a long two. Can't go in. Here's Chase. Here's Farron, and this is Paxton. Almost makes that short jumper. Here's a three-pointer that goes in. All right. 47 to 23 now as we eat into the, into the Norwich lead a little bit. Corte Real tries to get three right back, doesn't go in. Nice little rebound outlet pass by Lafoe, but it goes right to Norwich player. Here's Laho, dribbles. Here's Zeibel, can't make it from mid-range. And he steps on the, on the line trying to get his own rebound. Got a minute 26. Getting ready for the next game in our in our slate here that's going to be between Hardwick Police and Washington County. If you're watching this, this is on, uh, you're not watching this live. Uh, so that game is also going to be online and, and on HCTV. Corteriel dribbles off his foot, picks it back up, double dribble. Backs on LaFoe, takes the ball from out of bounds to chase LaFoe. Foe can't get a shot off. There's Joe, no good. Zeibel gets a standing rebound. Ball is contained by Norwich and a foul committed by Hardwick Wolcott. So Norwich gets the ball out of bounds. Here's Laho bringing the ball in. Tries a layup. Doesn't make it. Zeibel with the rebound. Can't hit either. Pretty Demers with a rebound. Here's Paxton. Bringing the ball up. Leading the charge. Drives right through the defense and hits a nice layup. Now these... Now this is a tournament uh, with eight games, but the uh, loser of this game is still going to be able to... Ah, nope. I'm sorry. <laughs> the loser of this game is actually out of the tournament. So... <laughs> It looks like it might be it for uh, Hardwick Wilka in this tournament. Shoot it! Shoot it! Laho. It's going to dribble the ball out. And that's going to be the game. 47 to 25 is the final score between Norwich Cadets squad and the Hardwick Wilka fire squad. All right, very good. So we're gonna be uh, back here in just a little bit for Hardwick Police versus Washington County and stay tuned.